Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the basics of iMovie. I get a lot of questions about iMovie, a lot of people want to start posting videos to YouTube, and when I started, probably for the first year or two of doing YouTube, I used iMovie. Once I moved up from that to Final Cut Pro, I could add some different transitions, some different titles, things like that, a little bit more advanced than what I could do with iMovie. But for most people, especially if you're starting out on YouTube, iMovie is more than enough. And some people that are still uh, much more popular than me on YouTube use iMovie. So it's, it's more than sufficient for most things. Now, if you don't know where iMovie is located, you want to find your launch pad here, or you can go to Finder and go to Applications. It'll be under there. You can search for it. Uh, you can search for it in Launchpad as well. If you type in iMovie, you'll see it there. So if you don't want this kind of hidden away, click and drag it to your dock down here and it will stay there. So go ahead and open up iMovie. Take a second to open here and you'll see we have some different content in here. Now I want to show you the basics of everything in this video. I'll do other videos as well to show you more advanced features. But in this video, I want to show you the basics. So we'll go to Preferences if you click on iMovie at the top go to preferences. We only have a couple options in this version of iMovie, which is really nice. We have apply slow motion automatically. So if it thinks there should be slow motion in different clips, it can throw that in there for by itself and then automatically upload content to iCloud. I don't want to do that. That'll save it to iCloud. I'll uncheck those, but that's up to you. So depending on what you want to do, if you have iCloud and you have room to spare uh, and you pay for extra storage on iCloud, like on your iPhone or iPad, you'll want to use that. If not, you want to uncheck it to free up some room. So on the left here, you can see the different libraries. We have our photos library that's straight from photos. If you're a more advanced user and you've used Aperture, it'll bring things over from that as well. Apple doesn't make or support Aperture anymore, so you may not want to use that. We also have all events, all projects and iMovie library. So if we go to the library, you can see some clips in here uh, from before today's event. There's nothing in here and we can import some media and we'll do that in a moment. And then we have a couple different options on the top. Here's our theater. So if we've created a video before, this is a video I created some time ago. We can just play it to preview it uh, or we can upload it to iCloud. But we'll go back to the library and let's go ahead and import some media. So we can either click on event if we don't have anything in here or we can click import or import. They're the same thing. So let's go ahead and hit import. Now on the left, you're going to see all the different available import locations. So we have our FaceTime HD camera if we want to use that and record right now and import that directly in. We can pull in from our hard drive, from anything else we have. This is actually a memory card. A scratch disk is also an attached drive for me. And then we just have what's on our computer to begin with. At the top, we also have our locations if there's anything else and where we want to import it. We can create a new event or just import it to what we already have. Now, if you've never imported before, you'll be prompted to create an event. So keep that in mind. If you don't have it exactly the same, just go ahead and name it and import it. So in this case, we're going to import from the desktop. I've created two different clips. I actually uploaded recently how to restore to an iPhone using iCloud. And then I have a photo that I thought we could use to as an example within the video. So I'm going to highlight both and you can do that by click one and then hold command and click the other. Or if you want to highlight and you have a whole bunch, you can hold shift and click the bottom one. So you can click the top, hold shift, click the bottom. It will import everything. It gives you all the different information, the size and everything else. And then we'll go ahead and hit, hit import all. So here's the content it's going to import. And if it takes a while to import, you'll see a little circle and it's completion once it's filled. Now, before we do anything, we've got some options. So maybe I want to click and drag. I can click and drag to highlight what I want. I can highlight the whole thing, click drag all the way to the bottom and highlight the whole thing. So maybe if I'll just click and drag to here at the top, we have some options. So here we have color balance so we can auto color ban balance. We can adjust it automatically. We can match color of a different clip. Go back. We can also do white balance. And if you don't know what these things are, that's perfectly fine. Basically, white balance is what your camera knows to be actual white in the room. So you could just take a picture of something white uh, using the white balance mode on your camera. If you have an iPhone, you're probably not going to bother with this at all. We can also do skin tone balance, uh, whatever you have. Now here, we've got color correction. We can change the color of the clip. So maybe we want to change this. We can do that. 
We can change all sorts of different settings. Really simple, but we could change it if we want to. Just go back to normal here. And I'm using Command Z to undo. You can also go to edit and hit undo. But I was using Command Z to do that. Now if we go here, this is crop. We can crop the video. Maybe we don't want it to be uh, too big, so we can just select the area and crop it and hit check done and see it zooms in kind of. Uh, we can crop again, change it back, or we can reset all. Let's reset. So we'll go back here. We want to undo source crop. Now we're back to normal. We can adjust volume levels. If we want to adjust the volume up or down, maybe it's too quiet. Uh, we can lower volume of other clips. Really nice as well. Here we can adjust different background noise or equalizer. We can change the voice. So maybe we're speaking only and we want voice or maybe it's music. Uh, loudness will bring up the bass in, in quieter clips. We have those options as well. And then we have some video effects and information. So the video effects, uh, we don't have any, but we can put all these different effects on it to make it look different. So we've got those options as well. So those are just the options and just go ahead and play around with those and you'll get a feel for what they do. This is going to take some time to learn and learn how to do it well and do a good job how you want to do. And the other thing we can do is enhance. We can auto enhance the whole clip because maybe we're, we have no idea what to do. So we'll just hit enhance and it will enhance the clip for us. So it's a really nice option as well. The one thing I forgot to show you with import, if you click on import and maybe you recorded the video off your phone, just go ahead and plug your phone in. Make sure your computer trusts your phone so it'll take a second and it pops up here. If I click on my iPhone, you'll see I have some videos there. You can also select from photos or all clips, just depending on what you're looking for. But this was at a concert I, cre I recorded. Uh, it didn't record well because I'm on a beta OS and it was buggy. But basically you get the idea. You can import that footage as well. So let's see what the basics of editing a video look like. So we want to create a new movie. So we click on new and then we can create movie or trailer. Trailer just follows a template like it says here. We'll create our own movie and it will pop up a bunch of themes. So you can see there's no theme bright. Uh, we can preview this and see what it looks like. So it pops up this different title. This is what bull bulletin board looks like. So it can put all of your videos within here. So we're not going to use any of those. We'll create our own this time and we'll hit create. Now we can name it. We'll just leave it as my movie, but it can tell you where you want to keep it. You've got different events and we'll name it my movie and hit okay. So here is your different media up here and we can reject the media, we can favorite the media, but here's our different media and here is our timeline. The timeline is basically the whole flow of the movie. So we, these are basically representing different clips within that movie and we can change the zoom level as well and I'll show you that in a moment. So here's our different footage and if I wanna grab this, I can grab it here and click and drag all the way down or maybe I'd want just up to here. Maybe we'll grab the first 25 seconds and you can see the number changing as I drag back and forth. Now you can click and drag this down into your timeline or you can click on this, click plus, and it will drop it down into the timeline. Now what we have here is our different footage. We can skim along like this. And as we skim along, we can see the changes. We've also got audio down here as well. So maybe we want to zoom in on the clip. This is a little bit far, far away. So let's go ahead and zoom it, zoom it in a little bit. And this lets us get a finer grasp of what we're doing here. There we go. And within here, these are our volume levels. So we can bring the volume up or down. So maybe we want to move it up or down. You can see we've got that option, which is nice. So we'll leave it, leave it right there. Now maybe we want to bring in another clip. So maybe we want to bring in this part right here. We'll click and drag. We'll drop it down this way this time. And we've got two clips. Now, the spot between those two clips is called the transition, or it's you're transitioning from one clip to the other. So see, you've got this transition here, and what we've got here is transitions. So on the left, if we click on transitions, these are all our different transitions. And they'll show you, if you skim across them, what it looks like. So click on this one and skim across it. It'll show you what it looks like. You can click across this one. It'll spin in the next one. This is just a cross dissolve between the two. So let's use puzzle left and we'll drag it down to the transition. And now this transitions between the two. So if I hit the space bar, it will play. Assign to. So go ahead and sign in.
you can see all of your different files. So, just so that's our transition between the two clips. Now we have some options with that transition, uh, but we will go into that in a different video showing more advanced transitions. But basically we can just click and drag until we get to the end. Maybe we want a photo at the beginning. So we'll go back to our event today, click on the photo, drag it down. Here's our photo to start. Maybe we want to put a title on that photo. Click on title. And here's all of the different titles. There's so many to choose from. A lot of this is just, just going to take some discovery on your part. So let's put that title right here. Now we can move it anywhere we want. Just drag it around. Maybe you want to put it right there. And we want to change the title to, this is my iPhone. Example video. So now we have that as well included in this clip. So if we go back to the beginning, You'll see it fades in, the picture's automatically zooming, that's this also another computer, option so as well, and that's Mac. what we have there as far as our title. And transition to the next clip, this is just a hard, hard cut part, to the next clip, so maybe we want to throw another transition in here. This time let's use crossfade, and I'll show you that. Part, you're going to need a computer. So, so we've got some nice transitions in. built in, we went from the first clip to the next one, to the next one, and that's it. So as far as the basics go, that's how you create a video. Now, if you want to get that video out of here and upload it, you can go to share and we've got a couple different options. So we can share it to theater. That just brings it right into our theater here. We can email it. We can drop it into iTunes. We can upload it to YouTube by signing into YouTube. Same with Facebook, Vimeo, CNN report. Maybe we just want to save it as a file and we'll upload it later. So if we click on file, we've got some options here. We've got the name of it. We've got what type of format it is. Maybe we only want the audio from it. We've also got the resolution. So right now it's a 1080p and you can learn more about this as well. Separately, you'll want to look some of this up, but this is 720p. This is 1080p. So we've got that as well. And quality, we can do high, best, or custom. So let's just, this time we'll do best. We'll hit next. And then where do we want to save it? This is just our folders on our Mac. We'll save it here and we hit save. So this will render that video and it will take some time. The status is in the upper right. We'll take time to render and when it's done, we'll be able to play it. Now, the nice thing is it also drops it into your theater as well. You'll see it's rendering your movie. There's your status and this will take some time. And when it's complete, we'll be able to play it. We're just waiting for this to finish being shared into our theater. And once that's done, we can watch it. But since we already have it here, let's go ahead and click on my movie. Double click, it'll open QuickTime. And we'll go here. And this is my movie. So if I hit space, you're going to need a computer. You'll see it transitions nicely. Your Mac, your Windows and we'll go to the end. Now the bad we'll find the transition here just so we can check it out. So we'll let it play for a second here. You can see all of your different files. And you can see that was the transition. So we've got this really simple, quick video that we exported. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much the basics of iMovie. iMovie is a really helpful tool that most people can use within your Mac. I'll be creating other videos on iMovie as well. I get a lot of questions about how to use it on the Mac. So I thought I'd create a little series to show you how to actually use it. We've got a lot of different features we can use from more advanced timing, audio controls, multiple audio with, with music, different video controls, green screen, if, even if you want to use that. So we've got all these things built in. So I'll be sure to show you that in a future video. Be sure to check back and let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's a video you want to see that you haven't seen for iMovie, let me know and I'll be sure to help you out with that as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.